This is before you had cowlick problems, but um Yes. <laughs> that picture. Who is the that's how they related to you there? That's uh that's me, that's the baby, that's mother. Uh then that one is uh Walter Snodgrass, her dad, and that one is Eber Snodgrass, her grandfather. That is Walter Snodgrass on the left and his father Herber on the right. Do you remember that picture, Grandma, taking that picture? Were those guys like um, loving grandfathers that like held you and played with you and stuff? Or were your grandfathers in that picture look like very distant, yeah, dour yeah, men? Is that how they were? That was Grandpa, he Grandpa Heber, my dad Walter. Were you close to Heber, uh, your grandfather? Did you oh, yeah. do a lot of stuff? And I went out everything? every summer and stayed there. And, there. and he, we always, of a morning, when we get up from the breakfast table, we always went in and I, I had my chair and Grandma had her chair and Grandpa had his chair. He read the Bible and we got up and got on our knees and prayed. And then we knew that was just, and when we went to his house on Sunday, nobody played. On his birthday, the whole he was superintendent of the Verdell Church, and they, all of the church would come out and have dinner, but nobody played because Grandpa didn't believe in games, and the, and they sat around. The little kids sometimes would run around and think, but wait, did he? This I think this is the same group. Only it seems like it looks like Mom, but it says Sue on the back. The hair is not curly. And is that the same people? Those are the same people. That's you in the front? Yep. It doesn't look like you, does it? I know it doesn't, but it says Sue, and I figure... You and never I, wore that. I, I don't and also, by that, that age, Mom should have been born, right? You look old enough to have had a sibling yet there, right? She would. I don't know. She didn't want her picture taken. So Obviously. she put her hands on her. See, your hair doesn't look curly. It doesn't look like curly hair to me, does it, you? This is Herber, Neva, and Walter in the back, and the unidentified Rouse girl in the front with the pans over her face. I don't know. And I look just, I, I look a little chubby here. I'm, that may be you. I think it's me, but yeah. I could be wrong. I just wonder too, because I every picture I see of Aunt Sue, like this one, you can see a major difference in the hair of these kids. Yes, that's for sure. Now, where was that place? You know what? Where that picture was taken? Do you recognize the building? That was taken in Liberal in the Bell Place, where Grandma and Grandpa lived. No, where we lived. Was well, that the house we lived in when we moved? We moved from that house to Nevada. Mm -hmm. The only thing I remember about that house is when we were packing and getting ready to move. I had a window open with a screen off and I was sitting in the window with my head outside and my feet hanging in the inside. And I thought that was so neat. <laughs> and this is Sue, Lou, and Neva in front of the house that eventually would set fire and possibly cure Red of his Quincy. <laughs> that was a place when uh, uh, Elmer had the Quin um, Quincy and he couldn't talk. And um, we uh, had lunch. Well, he couldn't work, and we didn't have any money. And we was to the place that I was nursing Lou, and we'd save the milk so Sue could have some milk. And we cooked one potato, and Elmer and I had to buy a potato. And that we didn't have any money to buy groceries. But Elmer, and my, my, his folks were on welfare or had commodities, so Mom would bring us in some commodities. So we, but Elmer was too proud to go on commod or have commodities. But Mom would bring in some of hers. And that was the way we eat until he got able to go to work. And he got to work out in the farm. And it was five, four, five miles, and he walked every morning five miles and back of an evening. And I spaded the garden and put in the garden. And um, well, it was cold weather, and uh, we had just finished dinner, and we. And, Elmer came in and was standing behind, between the stove and the wall, and he said, what's that? And I said, it sounds like the house is on fire. That's, and he went out and looked, and sure enough, there was, the house was on fire. 
Well, I had Lou in my arms, and I ran across to the neighbors and told them, and we just left Sue standing in the house. <laughs> and when I came back, I thought, but uh, so the neighbor next door, when we called, when well, we didn't have a telephone, so he hollered fire, and a fella a block away heard us, and he called the fire department. Well, they got lost, and they went out with the schoolhouse, and we lived here in this house. And um, so the neighbor next door, got, Elmer jumped up on the roof, and he drew a bucket of water, and Elmer poured the water, the water on the fire, and he didn't, and soon got it out. And we had the fire out by the time the fire truck got there, and the insurance fellow just lived next door, and he was there making a, a, an insurance adjustment when the fire truck got there. <laughs> <laughs> and Dad had quinzy and couldn't talk above a whisper. What's but quinzy? I don't know. It's you know. some bronchitis. Kind of like bronchitis. Uh -huh. uh, but he went to the door and yelled fire, and they heard him a block away. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but when that picture, like, did you guys own a camera? Who's, who took the pictures of you guys, you know, that you see? Mother had, a, mother had a camera. She had a little brownie. It was a box. And Elmer must, Elmer must have taken his picture. It was a little gray camera. Uh-huh. Yeah. It wasn't a brownie. A brownie, it was, it was a Kodak. Kodak. Yeah. It was a gray Kodak box camera. Because I remember when brownies came out. Oh, I wanted a brownie so bad. 